everyone, it's your girl Fatima Yvonne of Peace, Love and Artistry and I wanted to come with a video um, just to give you guys an idea of what to pack if you're a new mom, um, breastfeeding and going to work, how to pack your breast pump, what to pack with it and whatnot. So here we go. Alrighty. So this is my lovely breast pump in this lovely bag that it comes with. Um, so first things first. Um, I would suggest you do all of this the night before instead of the day of um, that you go to work because you never know how baby's going to act. You never know if baby's going to be turned up or whatnot. So I would definitely just do this the night before just, you know, to make sure you don't forget anything. So I would definitely check and make sure you got all your tubing. Um, I see that this tubing has a kink in it, so I definitely probably would suggest that you unplug these and then fold it like so and then tuck it in here um, also make sure you got your adapter and whatnot so you can plug it in nobody needs a breast pump it's worthless if it doesn't have power obviously and my case has this little pocket up here so what I did is I actually put a rag in here um, to wipe myself or if I um, want to use it to actually wipe off like the bottles um, or like the pump itself then I can use the rag for that. Um, so that's what I got for that. As um, far as my stuff, what I did is I put everything in a lovely plastic bag. So we see we've got this um, and everything. So I got everything washed out. Um, and these are the two bottles that come with it to pump straight into. Now I would suggest, uh, depending on how much milk that you produce, I would suggest you bring at least two bottles and I'm not saying just these have these I'm saying in addition to these have at least two or three additional bottles um, now I use a different brand I like nano Beeb just because I do breastfeed and they're supposed to be good for breastfeeding um, babies so I like these because of how they stack um, they stack perfect just like that um, obviously you can use whatever kind of bottles you have I do have another one it's called Nook um, that has a really good nipple that it seems like my baby likes um, you know the transition from breastfeeding and bottle feeding so we use that also I would also suggest that you guys have your own um, cooler bag for this so I've got this one I borrowed this from my mom's um, and you guys you know you could always get you know make it fun get you a fancy new lunch bag or you know you know insulated bag just for breastfeeding make it fun if you can find one that says mom something on it I don't know if they make those or something like that but definitely have your own um, and I was also suggest if you don't have any invest in some ice packs I have these as well as a couple other ones because um, I know some people like to put theirs in the refrigerator, but I know I'm not the only one who works in a ghetto office and people like to go on people's lunches and all kind of stuff. So I would prefer to have the ice pack and have this at my desk so I can know what's going on with my milk because if anything happens to my milk, it's going to be a problem because it's not messing with just my time and effort, but it's messing with my baby and nobody wants that. So like I said, this is my... Um, bag that I use for my bottles and and you know the ice pack and then I also have my lunch box so then that way you know you can keep it separate because this is my actual lunch box when I went to Hawaii yeah so yeah I keep my you know little stuff in here this is insulated also but I like to keep it in there like that so I would suggest you guys have these things and um yeah, you'll be ready for your pump day. Like I said, just prepare all this stuff and get you a nice tote bag that all of this stuff can fit in. Because I legit literally pack, I pack this, these bottles, and the ice packs in this bag. And um, I pack this, this, and this in a tote bag and I take it to work. So it's definitely stuff that you have to bring, but it'll be easier if everything is condensed and put together for you. So... This is what I do, and I think this is a great suggestion. And like I said, if you guys have a lot of milk let down, depending on how much you have, definitely bring some more bottles and, you know, get a bigger size bag if you need it. If you need one that's as big as the lunch bag, then get one. So, yeah, because it's for who? Your baby. So, all right, you guys. So, this is my suggestion. I love you guys.
said, I packed everything up um, and I'm sitting here about to pump in our room. Um, but I did forget to mention one thing to bring. Bring your cream, your lanolin or whatever you use on your nipples when they're in pain and all that good stuff that helped you get through those months and weeks of breastfeeding. Um, because honestly, I feel like the sucking and in general, the sucking from the pump itself isn't the same. Um, it actually, to me, it kind of, I don't want to say it hurts, but it's, it's not the same as the baby. So you're used to kind of that pain or feeling that the baby gives you. The pump, because I haven't been using it for that long, I don't, it doesn't feel the same. So honestly, I still need this just for, you know, it, it, after doing it for a while, it, I'm not going to lie, I feel a little irritation. Um, not anything serious because I only pump for like 10 to 15 minutes at the most, but it's just a different kind of feeling. So definitely if you're very sensitive or your skin gets dry, um, you know, and things of that nature, definitely bring your cream your lanolin ointment or whatever you use for your nipples just so you can make sure you're comfortable and you're not at work like itching or uncomfortable if you can you know help it so just want to leave you that tip don't forget to like comment share subscribe and happy pumping bye